Any other children that would like to come up as, as the bishop would love to say a few words to you and he can see better too. So anybody else uh, that would love to come forward, please come up now. And the congregation may be seated. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Somebody's full of energy. Today is a very, very special day. Lots of special things today. What's special about today? Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. How many of you have a mother? <laughs> Everybody has a mother. That's one thing we have in common. That's wonderful. And well, everybody had a mother, and hopefully even people who have lost their mother have somebody in their lives who's like a mother now. Something else is special about today. It's Mother's Day. It's Mother's Day. Again? Again. <laughs> All day. And grandmothers, we can celebrate on Mother's Day, and aunts, and all kinds of wonderful women who have helped us grow up. Hmm? It's the fifth Sunday of Easter, right? Very good. And we're going to do something in a little bit. I'm going to help do something. That's why I came here. I'm Bishop Susan. And hi. And I'm a bishop who comes to different churches to do something that we're going to do in a few minutes. Okay. Confirmation. A whole bunch of young people and adults are going to be confirmed or received. Now, confirmation, that's kind of a big word, but what it's all about is something that they did a while ago, and I bet many of you did too, or somebody did it to you. You know what I'm talking about? Baptize. Baptize, right. <laughs> Baptize. How would you know that, that it's all about it's baptism? Easy. It's easy. So how many of you were baptized? Me. I got one. When you were a baby. Me too, when yeah. I was a baby. And what were you baptized in? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and in water. Right. Right. Well, how many of you were baptized when you were a baby? Great. When you grow, there will come a time in your life where you say, and I bet some of you are already saying it, I believe those things that somebody else said for me when I was baptized. I believe in Jesus. I believe, and I want to follow Jesus' way and live the way Jesus wants me to live. And when you want to make that pledge, that promise, when you get older, then you can be confirmed, which means that we confirm the faith. Well, let me sh say something about that. Did you, have you ever stayed at a hotel? Uh, you ever spent the night at a hotel? Yeah. And your parents made a phone call or they went online and they made a reservation. You know that word, you yeah. make a reservation? Yeah. It means, it means just Means how, it means, how, it means like we're, we're gonna. It means that like you picked that hotel to stay at. Like right. It means like you picked that host hotel and you made a plan with them and you even paid for it so that you would stay there. Well, maybe a few days before, your mom or dad might call the hotel or go online to make sure to make sure that that reservation is still good, to make sure they didn't forget about it or have a computer glitch and it got lost. So they would call to confirm it, to be sure. That's what we're doing to these people today as they make promises all over again. We confirm their promises, the promises that they made or somebody made for them when they were baptized. So I hope you'll watch carefully and see what happens and see what we say and what my prayer is for them because someday, 
Someday, I hope that you'll be confirmed too and that you'll make those promises too. Again, just as you did when you were baptized. Thank you. Now we're going to ask the confirmands to stand. The candidates will now be presented. I present Kristen, Jason, Connor, Griffin, Patrick, William, James, John, Mark, Peter, Ethan, Norma, Andrew, and Lanning to be confirmed. And I present Louise and Joseph to be received into the household of God. I ask those of you who were just presented, do you reaffirm your renunciation of evil? I do. Do you renew your commitment to Jesus Christ? I do, and with God's grace, I will follow him as my Savior and Lord. Thank you. Now I ask the whole congregation to stand if you are able. And I ask you, will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these persons in their life in Christ? We will. Let us join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? I will. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will, with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will, with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will, God's help. Let us now pray for these persons who have renewed their commitment to Christ. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the spirit. <coughs> Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Send them into the world and witness to your love. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you that by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome sin and brought us to yourself, and that by the sealing of your Holy Spirit, 
You have bound us to your service. Renew in these your servants the covenant you made with them at their baptism. Send them forth in the power of that spirit to perform the service you set before them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The congregation may be seated during the confirmations. And I ask the children to create a little bit of space so that the confirmants can come forward. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant, Kristen Danielle, with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Jason Thomas with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Connor with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Griffin with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Patrick with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant William with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Peter with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Ethan with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Amen.
Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Norma with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Andrew John with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Anna Lanning with your Holy Spirit. Empower her for your service and sustain her all the days of her life. Amen. Strengthen, O Lord, your servant Jim with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Strengthen, O oh Lord, your servant John with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Strengthen, O oh Lord, your servant Mark with your Holy Spirit. Empower him for your service and sustain him all the days of his life. Amen. Joe, we recognize you as a member of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church and we receive you into the fellowship of this communion. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. Amen. Louise, we recognize you as a member of the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church and we receive you into the fellowship of this communion. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. Amen. Amen. 